into bracket 2b minus 3 is equal to 44. So what we are going to do in this case is for us to open the bracket. We we'll remove the bracket first. Remove the bracket. We are going to say plus times plus. It gives us plus. 4 times 2b, that is 8b. Then plus times minus, that is minus. 4 times 3, 12 is equal to 44. Then we collect the like terms. Collect the like term. Now here is minus 12 and here is plus 44. For us to collect the like terms, this and this, they are linked together. They are, they, they are the same terms. So this one will have to go and meet this. But as it's going, this negative sign crosses over equality sign. It changes to plus. Because the principle is that whenever a negative sign crosses over equality sign, it must change to positive. And if it is positive, when it crosses over equality sign, it must change to negative. Now we have 8 B, there is still plus L, is equal to 44 plus 12. Now we are going to have 56. So we have 8B is equal to 56. What they ask us to do is to find the value of B. But before we can get the value of B, this 8 has to be eliminated. How do we eliminate A? We divide both sides. We divide both sides by 8. We divide both sides by 8. Now we are going to have 8b divided by 8 is equal to 56 divided by 8. And so this 8 cancel this 8. 8 here also, you have 7, 1, 1. So b. In the final analysis, B is equal to 7. So which of the options is correct? Option B is the most appropriate option. I want to believe it's clear to everybody. That is very good. So let's proceed to assignment 2. Given that here is bracket open X minus Y. Then we have minus bracket open again. 2x minus y is equal to 21. First and foremost, before you can proceed, you must open this door, open this room, open this room, so that we can have access to each of the ten. And what are the appropriate keys that we are going to use to open the room? See, there is an invisible one here. It's an appropriate key that we are going to use to open this room. There is equally another invisible one here. It is the appropriate key that we are going to use to open this room. Now let's proceed. Plus times plus, that is going to give us plus. 1 times x, it gives us x. Then, plus times minus, that gives us minus. 1 times y, it gives us y. Then we are true with, with the first room. Now let us put minus. 1 times 2x, it gives us 2x. Then minus times minus, it gives us plus. 1 times y, it gives us y is equal to 21. What we are going to do next is to collect the like terms. This is like with this. We bring it together. That means we are going to have plus x minus 2x. They are like terms. Then this minus y is also like with this. We have minus y plus y is equal to 21. Now here is a plus 1. There is an invisible 1 here. Plus 1. 
minus 2x. That is to say, I have 1 with me. But minus 2x means I am owing 2x. So, what I will just do, when the person that I am owing, when it comes, and say, where is my money? I would make an appeal. Please, I have 1 in my pocket. I am going to pay this 1. Then my balance is going to now be minus 1x. I have to put minus to indicate that that is the amount of money that I am yet to pay. So, let's look at this and this. This is minus 1y, then plus 1y. So, here I am owing 1. And I have 1 inside my pocket. That's very simple. If I'm owing 1 and I have 1 inside my pocket, I will bring out 1. I will pay the one I'm owing. Then I'm no, I'm no longer indebted to anybody. And here is that means this and this is cancelled out because if I use this to pay this, I'm no longer indebted. Now we proceed. Here is now going to be twenty one. So here at this point, we are asked to find the value of x, but there is minus one here that is serving as an Entrance. So what we are going to do is to eliminate that minus 1. So how do we eliminate minus 1? We are going to say divide. Divide both sides by minus 1. So here we are going to have minus 1x divided by minus 1 is equal to when plus and minus when they fight, who is going to win? It is minus that win. So that is why plus over minus becomes minus because minus is a very strong animal. It's going to, when it fights with against plus, it's going to win over plus. So let us check the correct option. The correct option here is going to be option D. Let's proceed to exercise 3. 4. Into brackets. That is 4m minus 5. Then we have m minus 2. That is to say we have 4m into bracket m minus 2. Then we now use the second term, which is the second key, to open that same door, which is m minus 2. This is an example of geometrical function in algebraic expression. We have two terms dealing with just one expression. Now, the first term, we deal with the first expression, while the second term, we equally deal with the expression. So, what do we do next? We are going to have 4m times m. That is 4m squared. Then, 4m times minus 2. That is minus 8m. Here is minus 5 times m. It gives us minus 5m. Then, minus 5 times minus 2. It gives us plus 10. I want to believe we are following. Alright, that's very good. Now, let's proceed. Here, we're going to have 4m squared minus 8m minus 5m. That is to say, I am owing somebody minus 8m. I'm still owing another person entirely minus 5m. So, all together, the amount of money that I'm owing has to be minus 13m. I have to put minus to indicate that that is the amount of money that I'm owing. And so we have plus 10. The question says, find the coefficient of m in the expansion of this. This is the expansion of this. The expansion of this. Then what is the coefficient of m? Coefficient is number and sign that occupy the front of a given letter. So the given letter is m. So the number is this, the sign is this. So the coefficient of m now becomes 
minus 13 minus 13 so let's take the correct option the correct option is option d i want to believe this is very clear